after six months, I can tell you without blinking that we are actually not working. You don't work if you don't keep your time. You don't work if you don't keep your time. You don't work if you are not available. You are being looked for and you are not available. You don't work if your left hand does not know what the right hand is doing. Because there's a lot of apathy. What is happening in my ministry is that there's a silo mentality about positions and ranks. Please, in the name of God, let us be all equal around the table, from the most junior to my most humble self. And it is also very shameful when I'm given names of my officers on the ground, collecting money from the public to do things that are not correct. So we shall not get answers just by launching this. The government has a very clear policy about reforming the education sector. And those are discussed in these two documents. So the documents are good. I agree with my, with Professor Suda. I agree with the, the, the young lady who spoke there from UNESCO. I agree with my DG that the documents are very good. What I am not sure about are the bodies. The bodies of Kenyans who are going to implement this. And so that's why I'm not addressing so much the documents. And I'm, I'm addressing you. Perhaps the best link from where I stand, if I start with the primary school, is the competency-based curriculum. Even though I had challenges there again, where you gave me false reports, it is true, telling me books are here, books are here, books are I had to go and check. But when I go to the classrooms, I see my teachers there, respellent and teaching. That is something that we should be proud of. Why don't we emulate those teachers? <laughs>